Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Darren, channel name is Dizzy Stitcher. Hope you are all well um, and safe. Uh, if you are new to my channel, then welcome. It's much appreciated. I hope you enjoy what you see. If you do, then please feel free to subscribe. If you are a returning viewer, then thank you very much for returning. Again, it's much appreciated. Um, apologies for the uh, appearance. Uh, I haven't had a chance to have a shave. <laughs> So it's one of those scruffy days, I'm afraid. <laughs> so uh, again, thank you all for uh, everybody who um, congratulated on me on my one year Fostube anniversary and my 2000 subscribers from last week. Um, it's much appreciated. Um, now this is take two of doing this video. Um, so excuse me if I uh, trip up a bit. So yeah, I've got to say the first one the lighting wasn't very good. The sun decided to go in about two minutes into filming and half my face was white, half of it was like really dark. So um, I've tried my best, I've put the lights on here, but I may have to invest in a uh, ring light, I think. Uh, we are coming into uh, autumn time now, so it's gonna be darker a lot more and probably a lot more rain too. So I do apologize for that one. Um, next thing, I just want to apologise for all those who were waiting for the Stitch With Me on Wednesday. Um, I had a whoops moment um, whereby I was getting everything ready to um, upload it and I was clearing out some stuff on my phone and deleted the video by mistake. Not meant to do that. So I do apologise, um, but um, just be aware that I did answer all your questions and I'm sure the answers were absolutely perfect and spot on. That's what I'm saying anyway. <laughs> uh, so uh, apologies again on that one. So I'm going to redo it this weekend. Uh, ready for um, Wednesday. I will answer all your questions again. Luckily for me, I had them saved. And uh, this time I'll try not to delete it. <laughs> so apologies again. So in today's um, update, I'm going to go through what I've been working on. Uh, I've got a a uh, project that I'm going to be starting uh, pretty soon. Some of you may already know about this one. Um, some of you may not. Uh, I've also got a giveaway or two to do as well um, as part of my um, 2,000 subscribers and my one year floss tube. So stay tuned for those ones. And you're going to have to excuse me, I need to drink. So the first video was about half an hour long. I don't know how long this one will be. It'll probably be a bit quicker because last time I wasn't organized. I'm probably still not organized now. <laughs> so as on my last video, I got a question from Beth. I believe it was Beth anyway, who asked um, if I'd actually worked out how many stitches I'd done for the whole first year of Frost Tube. No, I hadn't. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to work it out. So that's what I did because I'm sad. <laughs> and I even split it out into full crosses and 10 stitches. So for full crosses for last year, well, for the first year of Floss Tube, I did 88,958 full crosses. Uh, for 10 stitches, I did 100,073. So if you convert that into half cross, uh, into full crosses, that's like an extra 50,037 stitches. So over and all, full cross wise, I did 1, 000, uh, 138,995 stitches uh, last year. Um, or if you do it as in like 10 and cross, I did a total of 189,031 stitches. Which isn't bad really, um, considering. Now that's not including the um, small pieces that I did uh, like throughout the year and towards Christmas. So the little ornaments. So there may be another couple of thousand to go on there as well. Uh, not bad, so I hope that answered your question best. <laughs> so um, I got sent a, um, a chart, so through a rack, which is a random act of kindness, um, from, I forgot the name. See, I told you I'm not organised. Um, and I'm, pro I'm probably going to say it wrong, because I've probably said it wrong in the last take as well, um, which is Siske, um, who bought me a chart. And she actually bought me two charts. Um, she bought me one chart and I'd already got it. So she then got me another chart. 
Um, so the chart that she bought me, first of all, will be one of the giveaways, um, just so that you are aware. So it's not actually from me, it's from um, Siske. So thank you for that, Siske. And I, I hope I'm saying your name right and not butchering it, so I do apologize if I am. Uh, <laughs> so I'll show you the chart that um, she bought me. So it's, there we go. So it's um, Heaven and Earth. As you know, Heaven and Earth had a sale on this week. Well, this weekend, it was a three-day sale, I think, with 50% off. Um, so this is from Heaven and Earth, and it's artwork by Stephen Gayford. And it's called Close Companions. And that's what that one is. How cute is that? That's got like, stunning. I'm not looking forward to doing the background, but the tigers, yes. <laughs> And while we're on about the tiger section, um, thank you to everybody who um, commented last week with regards to my selections for the um, white tiger that I'm going to do. Um, now I gave the options of either like the uh, picture of this plus, which is like a, a brownie fabric or a light blue fabric. And it was a bit a mixture of both. So 50, 50 really. Um, and then someone mentioned to me, I've already got one here done, and that's on a khaki fabric. So they mentioned why not, not do it on the picture this plus one and then have it as a companion piece to put up here. I'm getting hang of this. You should have seen me on the last take. I was all over the shop. <laughs> so I thought that was a really, really good idea. So I'm actually going to do it on the picture this plus piece of fabric for the brown on that one. Um, again, thank you to everybody as well who um, commented with regards to the pandemic piece, um, saying that they could see the colours just fine and to stick with the fabric that I'm already on. Um, a couple of people said, like, do test stitches on white or whatever, or to go on to black. Now, black was the one that I was originally going to do it on, um, but then I changed my mind. Um, but I've been actually looking to see if I could get black fabric. I want to do it on 28 count. Um, and I can't get black in 28 count. The lowest I can get is 25. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to try another couple of more lengths on the fabric that it's on at the moment and see how it looks. Now, the day after I filmed last weekend, um, I actually looked at it in the daylight and I could see the yellow, um, both close up and from a bit of a distance. So we're gonna, I'm going to stick with it. And just do a couple more and see how I feel about it then. If I still don't like it, then I'll switch it out um, before I get too far into it. If um, I think it's all right, then I'll just continue with it. So, And on my last video, the amount of sows and erms I put in there it was unbelievable. Because I mentioned er uh, last uh, video, I kept saying it. <laughs> and this week, I've been saying so and erm. Um. Okay, right. So, first of all then, um, let's go through and, uh, what I've been working on. The first piece then is uh, one of my Crossy Studio pieces, um, which is the Native Wolf, which is the one I am doing with Pam. And I'll put a picture in of where I was last time with this one. So this week I did 606 stitches on this one. Just get it organized. And my part threads are all over the place, so I do apologize. It's not in the Q-snap this time, which is, I think it'll be the first time you've seen it out of the Q-snap. Just get this folded up, be easier. There we go. He says. Oh yeah, I was more organized than this last time. <laughs> right. So this is where we're up to at the moment. I don't know if you can see, but I've started filling in more down here and I finished the white up the top here. So there you go. So the white's all finished up there now. So I've just got the paler blues and that to go in. So this time I've just been tying all the, the park threads. So there are still some more to do, um, but I've worked more down into this section here. And as you can see, all the way up to here. So this is the end of the next page. So page three. This one is coming along really, really good. Once I've got a tie 
threads in there, you'll see it a lot better. Um, so I'll maybe try and do that this week. Now the Cross Stitch Studio are doing another month challenge next month. I don't know what the challenge will be. Again, probably something like 30 days on a project. And we'll see. Probably pull this one out again for that one. <laughs> I normally do. Okay. Uh, that one is done on 28 count easy guide and I'm doing it two over one 10 stitch. The next piece I did was one of my heaven and earth designs, which was um, artwork by Jan Patrick Crancy. Crancy, Krasny, say it right. <laughs> which is underwater dolphin and turtles. And this is the one that I'm doing the challenge with Natalie uh, to see if we can get a dolphin finish first. So I'm working on these two here. And I haven't seen Natalie's update this week, so I don't know how far she's got into hers. So I can't put a picture in on this one. So Natalie, if you're watching, which I'm assuming you will be, you'll have to start sending me them on a Friday at some point. <laughs> so I can put it in for the video. So this one is being done on 28 Count Laguna. Laguna. Laguna, uh, Lugana even, sheesh, <laughs> you'd think, second time around, I'd get it right, I'd get it right in the first one. Um, this is a one over one full cross, and I'll put a picture in of what it was last time, and this is where we're up to now. So it's really starting to take shape now. I chose, I think it was just one colour, um, that filled in through all this part here, and extended this part out, so again, a bit more definition, and then down into this fin. And then a couple of, couple of little bits went further across. Now I only did 425 stitches on it this week. And this is where we're up to. So it's looking really, really good. So there are a couple of stitches that just come through here just to fill that part in. So I'm really enjoying working on this one. So he's looking awesome. that one. All right, what I'm going to do now, oh, I'm just sorting this way, is we're going to go and do a giveaway. So as I said, I've got a couple of charts for you. But as you know, Evan and Earth had the sale on. Um, I had a gift card that needed using up. Um, so I bought a couple of charts on that one, more on those ones in a moment. Um, and then I thought, because I want to celebrate everybody for subscribing to my channel and supporting my channel, um, I got three, ch I bought three charts for you guys, and then I've got the one from Cisco as well. So the first one we'll go through is the one from Cisco. Now, if you remember, I am doing a magical moment in time, which is, this one. So I'm doing that one. And then I think it was towards the end of last year, Someone bought me the next version, which is Magical Moment in Time 3. Which is that one. So this is the one that um, Cisco bought me. Uh, not really that, realizing that I'd already got it um, because she's not seen it before. So this is the first giveaway. So it's uh, artwork by Sierra Machetti. It is the colour expansion version, so it's 149 colours, and it's 625 wide by 859 wide. So if you are interested in winning that chart, then all you need to do is enter the word tiger in the comments. Again, as with all the giveaways, please don't say giveaways or free or anything like that, um, because there are scammers out there who just look for stuff like that so they can win prizes to sell on. So please don't do that, otherwise I will have to delete your comment. Okay, so that's the first giveaway. Right, on with the next chart. So I'm gonna scatter the giveaways throughout the, the video, just so you know. So the next uh, piece I worked on was my um, Snow Dragon by Anne Stokes, and that was this one. So this one, I didn't get a lot of work done on it, but I've got a bit more done. So this one got 
525 stitches in it. Again, this one's um, 28 count easy guide, two over 110 stitch. Oh, this is where we're up to now. So my blue blob has got a lot bigger. So it was just like up to here, it's now spread. And then a little bit down there. And basically I just picked a color and just worked it all through. So that's where we're up to on that one. That's my snow dragon. Maybe get a bit more working on that one at some point. Um, the next piece I worked on then was one of my Whipgo pieces for this one. I'm way behind on Whipgo. <laughs> way, way, way behind. Um, so this one is, uh, again, artwork by John Patrick Krasny. And it's the Wizard Septimus, which is this one. And I'm working in this area up here. So on this one for Whip Girl, I've got to do 5,000 stitches. A little bit behind on that one. I did 871. Um, so this again is on 28 count easy guide. I'm doing it two over one ten stitch. And this is where we're up to now. Move that out of the way. So basically I just picked the next color and I've been working that around. So there's a bit up here. And then I had so much of it done up here and then just continued it all the way down around into here. So I say this is on 28 count easy guide, two over one ten stitch. And I got 871 stitches in there this week. So that's that. It's filling in nicely. So it'll get there. So that's that one. Right. Let's do the next giveaway. Let me get this out of the way first. So the next giveaway is um, a chart by Amy Stewart. So I say, just pick some random charts. So this is um, a chart by Amy Stewart. And again, it's max color. And it is the Animal Kingdom bookshelf. Piece. See, I know a couple of people are already stitching this one. And it just looks pretty awesome. So if you want the chance to win this one, then just use the code word animal in the comments below. Press that. So again, that one is max color so it's i think it's 240 colors for that one just so that you are aware so all these are max colors so you are gonna use a lot of thread <laughs> <laughs> so that's that one again same rules apply don't mention the word giveaway in your comments last piece i worked on then was my super size tiger family of the jungle again i work by pa janet patrick kresny is this one and I'm working in this section down here and again I'll put a picture in of where I was last time so this one has been done on 25 count easy guide and I'm doing it um, one over one full cross and again excuse the uh, the mark in the middle of the fabric as I say I don't know what it is or where it came from but this is where we're up to now so as you can see, I thought it was just all going to be blacks and browns, and I found some green. <laughs> so I did the green, and then filled in some more of the darker colours. So these are going to be leaves, I believe. Now this one, I put in 2,905 stitches this week. Hopefully this weekend, I'm going to push to try and get this page finished. I don't think there's an awful lot of stitches in there, maybe about 1,000. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, maybe about a thousand stitches. Six thousand, who knows? Um, and then start this page. And again, where this mark is here, I've worked that is roughly where the tiger's gonna start. I'm hoping. So that's that one, that's a up for you. So yeah, so that one's coming along really, really nicely. And that's all the projects I've worked on this week. 
Now, if you watch Stacy, the 911 stitcher, um, you will already know this, uh, but we have decided that we are gonna do a um, stitch along together. Now, we have talked about this before and nothing ever materialized out of it, but we was talking to each other the other day and obviously because the hate sales were on, well, we got talking and decided we was gonna go ahead and uh, start one. So we're starting this on the 1st of May. And where's the chart? There we go. And what we are doing is we are working on a piece called North American Mammals. And again, I'm doing it max color. I think Stacy is too, but I'm not 100% sure. This is a Sierra Machete um, artwork. It's 237 colors and it's 625 wide by 446 high, so not an overly huge piece. And that's the piece that we're gonna be doing. Let's look at those blue eyes on that panther in the middle. Well, panther, cat of some sign. I don't know what it is. <laughs> it looks absolutely stunning. And it's gonna look amazing once it's done. Once it's done. So, what I did, I bought this chart again. And it's, I'm gonna do it as a giveaway. So if anybody wants to join in with me and Stacey, we're starting this on the 1st of uh, May. Um, I think I've already got the fab, uh, big enough piece of fabric for this one. Um, the one that I was gonna do the White Tiger on, um, I think it'll be big enough for this one. So I'm gonna do this one as a giveaway as well. So if you wanna join in, um, again, um, for this one, um, in the comments, just put the code word MAMMAL. And again, we'll draw that one next week. So yeah, so looking forward to starting that one. Excuse me again. I think that's gonna be uh, good fun on there. Now, I think I had a couple of questions as well um, that I said I was gonna answer in this week's video uh, on this update one. And I forgot to sort those out and I forgot to sort them out earlier on. You thought I'd have sorted them out now. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna answer those um, either in my stitch with me or I'll answer them next week on here. So apologies, I completely forgot uh, twice. <laughs> uh, right. I'm just double checking my notes again. I've got no shout outs or anything. Uh, I've had no stitch email. So I'm gonna get my stitch with me done this week. So that will be done and hopefully not deleted this time. So I'm gonna get that done either later on today or tomorrow. Uh, ready for Wednesday, I'll upload that straight away. Um, so it's there ready to go. Um, so again, I'll answer all the questions that I had for it last week. So I'll answer those in it again this week. <coughs> Excuse me. Again, if you've got any questions or comments, please drop those down below um, and I'll get those answered. Again, I will put all the details of all the projects I'm working on down below as well, just in case you are interested in any of them, and then you can see where I got them from and what how I'm stitching them. Um, recap, if you want to enter for the uh, Magical Moment in Time 3, which is the Tiger piece, um, code word for that one is Tiger. If you want to do the Amy Stewart bookshelf piece, the code word for that one is Animal. And if you want to join me and Stacey in the um, Sal, then again, the code word for that one is MAMMAL. So um, again, that's everything that I have um, for you today. So again, thank you very much for watching. Um, again, any questions, comments, please feel free to drop those down below. If you do want to email me, you can do. My email address is dizzystitcher at gmail.com. You can follow me on um, Instagram as well. On there, I'm just dizzystitcher. Now, I haven't posted anything last week because I completely forgot. Sorry if you can hear that, that is a cockatoo flying past. They are so noisy. <laughs> but to say they're not an overly huge bird, they make so much noise. And when you get the full flock, you can't even hear anything. So that was a cockatoo flying over if you heard it. <laughs> um, again, thank you very much for watching. Now, if you have made it this far um, and you haven't switched off yet, then I have one more giveaway for you. Um, now this one is um, a 
Bridget Ashwood, Ashwood chart and it's called Autumn Queen. Again, it's max color. Uh, this one is 575 wide by 718 high and it's 237 colors. And that is this piece. So if you would be interested in winning that chart, then it, the code word for that one is Autumn. And same rules apply. Don't use the word giveaway. Um, so I will draw the winners for all these next week. So I've got the charts all ready. So they're just ready to be uh, emailed over. So I will need your email address um, for the winners so that I can get those shipped over to you. So I'm going to give you till Friday. Um, now, if you're in Australia, midnight on Friday. If you're in the rest of the world, probably by midday on Friday. Um, because obviously I do my videos on a Saturday morning. And I know we're in Australia, we're ahead of most countries. So it'll, it'll probably be like afternoon time by the time I do it for my video. So yeah, so Australia, you've got till midnight. The rest of the world, you've got till like midday on Friday. And then I can get those drawn next Saturday and then hopefully get those shipped off as soon as possible. Uh, as soon as I hear back from the winners. So again, that's everything I've got for you today, guys. So thank you very much for watching. Um, again, if you are new to my channel and you enjoyed what you saw, please feel free to subscribe. Uh, next week, it will be clean shaven. So. <laughs> um, oh, I've never even mentioned either. Um, went to the doctors on Wednesday uh, with regards to the concussion. Uh, he completely signed me off fit for work again. So I'm now back at work on full duties instead of just light duties, um, which is a shame because I wanted them to sign me off again, so more stitchy time, but never mind. Uh, I'm not doing anything again though to get more time off. Forget that. <laughs> uh, so again, guys, thank you very much for watching. Take care, happy stitching, and I'll catch you in my next video, whether it be my stitch along or my next update. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye for now.